So here we are at the Laser Cutter. I've got my email there. I've downloaded both files that I've emailed. To open them in Illustrator, I'm going to go to Illustrator there. I'm going to go File, uh, New Documents, and just go Enter for the default. I'm going to go File, and then Place. And I'm going to open the one that says SVG. You can click on Show Import Options as well. And then we just check that that's OK. OK, looking good. Now, obviously, the uh, line weights are all over the place. So the first thing I'm going to do is sort those out. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And where it says Stroke, we need 0 0.001 and hit Enter. Now, the trouble is with that, it makes it almost invisible. So sometimes it's better just whilst you're working on it. Just give it a, a, value, a value you can see better. Let's try 0 0.5. There we go. And we can just whilst we can see what we're doing. Next, we need to make sure that the red value of the stroke is 100% red. So we make sure that's dragged all the way down to the bottom. And it says 255 for red, and then the rest are on zero there. So we go OK. And this one here, or these ones, I need to ungroup this now, because these ones were designed to be the little um, assembly markers. So these ones need to be black. So I'm just going to double click on those and I'm going to go to black in the other corner there. All right. I'm going to select all of it again. And we can now go back to our original value, 0 0.001, enter. And we can make sure that there's no fill on there anyway, anywhere. Sorry, um, that will uh, make it a little bit problematic. Then I'm going to go um, control P. And we go print. And then we can go into the laser cutter um, soft software there. OK, there we go. So I'm going to cut this from a few different materials. First thing I'm going to do is just go relocate the view and click on the top left node there. And I'm just going to type in some small values here, like I usually do 5 millimeters, tab 5 millimeters, and then go Enter. You see what that does? It puts it right to the edge of the laser cutter. Now, you've got to imagine this window here is the laser cutter bed, scale 1 to 1. So um, yeah, you want to you want to make sure that it's like right in the corner for the, for the material that we're using. You can then turn on the machine, and then that will slowly get the machine wiring up. You can probably hear that coming to life now. Whilst that's loading, we can just check our file. Yeah, now that's uh, at the moment that's going to raster, which is a little bit peculiar that it's done that, but never mind. We'll see what happens. So with the zooming. It's left click to zoom in and then right click to zoom out. And yeah, and we're good to go. So we can check the materials. So I'm going to cut this from 3 millimeter MDF because I'm going to be casting it first. So there's our MDF there. We can check the material thickness here. And I'm going to take that down to 3. In fact, it might even be this one here. Copy of medium density fiberboard. We change that to 3 millimeters there. And that is all we need to do. I'm going to go apply and OK. Then the next bit is to start doing the setup on the laser cutter, which you can see. Next. OK, so here we go. We've got to find some 3 mil MDF first. So that's looking in this um, messy pile here. Just trying to find something that should have enough space on. That looks, that looks all right. Any scrap is good to use. We're going to open the machine. And I'm going to put this into the machine so that on the top left there, I've got all of that material there that I need to use. I'm going to leave the lid open. Now we've got to turn on a few more things. So I'm going to go around here, and this button here is for the extractor. So we turn that on. We turn this one on. Oops, sorry, that one there. That's for the um, exhaust ventilation. And then there's one more we need to turn on, which is this little switch right at the back here on there. That's the compressor, which is the gas for the laser. OK. So a couple of things we can do just to check that we're all OK and that it's ready to go. When we go back to our software here, I'm going to click on this little focus view button here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send the laser to the top left. And you can see what it does. It travels over to the top left there. And it just shows us where it's going to start, like that. Now what I want to do is check that my design will fit in this space here. So we've kind of got around to about there. That's our window. That's our, like our work envelope. So I'm going to come back over here and we can use that same pointer and just click down somewhere down there. Aha! So we can see there it's probably not going to fit on that bit of material. So I'm going to need to find another piece that's so find a much larger piece of material but this has got these here. So we need to set the start point down here. 
to do that, we need to look at the ruler and see how far down that point is. So on there, it says, I think that's saying 77 cm. So what I need to do now on my design is click on the uh, move, make sure that top left node is selected, and then on the Y, I'm just gonna type in uh, 70 mil, and that's gonna move it down. And now we can check. We get our little move button again, and let's check to see if that's gonna meet okay in the start point. To apologize for the wobbly hand. Yep, that's looking good. And last check we'll do is, does it fit? So we'll go down to the bottom there. Yeah, we're looking good. So that's all fine. I'm going to close the lid now, go back to the machine, and then we can literally just press green for go.